My name is Abhishek Singhal. I head products for Aditya Birla Sun Life Asset Management Company. And I'm here to tell you about our newest offering, Aditya Birla Sun Life Special Opportunities. Aditya Birla Sun Life Special Opportunities Fund is a equity oriented thematic scheme which focuses on companies, businesses that are going through special situations. Now, what are these special situations and uh, how do they become opportunities? Uh, sometimes there are companies or businesses that have to go through certain life events which create more and more uncertainty. We know that there is already an uncertain environment around us, but certain events like uh, you know corporate actions like mergers, demergers, M&A, management changes, uh, or industry level changes like uh, regulation change or some sort of a macroeconomic change, they can create more uncertainty for that particular company or for that particular sector. More often than not, during these periods of heightened uncertainty, uh, the market price of these companies drops uh, and it creates a sort of a valuation gap or uh, in our parlance, a margin of safety. Wherever we believe that managements and companies uh, as such are very well prepared for these uh, uncertain times uh, and do have the ability to counter such events, uh, there we believe it lies a special opportunity for investors. More often than not, these opportunities turn out to be massive multi-baggers also. Uh, just taking a few examples uh, for your benefit, you would recall the case of Tesla in 2015. Now, uh, you know, this is a product that we have all grown and uh, grown up with. And we know that this is a company which has multiple products under the same brand. Uh, given the fact that, you know, Maggie Noodles uh, as the flagship brand of this company went through a crisis uh, during 2015, we also saw the stock of that company uh, melting down by about 30 odd percent in a very, very brief period, which created a sort of a, you know, a valuation gap or a margin of safety for uh, investors who completely believed in the power of this brand and the ability of this company's management to make a comeback. Uh, well, whatever happened, happened. And uh, today we know that the stock price actually multiplied from there. Uh, the stock has returned maybe three, three and a half times from what it was at that point in time. A similar such example can be seen in the case of another popular company called PVR. Uh, we saw that PVR uh, during you know, its, its tenure uh, from becoming from a small single screen company uh, to becoming a large multiplex organization uh, has undergone lots of M&As. Uh, three times to be precise, they've acquired companies uh, which were re sort of regional leaders. And every single time such a change has happened, we've seen that the company's stock price has actually responded quite favorably for investors who believed in the management's ability to uh, you know, grow inorganically and actually deliver much better profits, much better growth. Um, such opportunities lie all across and we believe that a strategy that focuses on such opportunities though it it uh, you know carries some bit of risk as well uh, because such situations may may not pan out the way uh, you know investors would like them to uh, because uh, there is some bit of element of risk the reward can potentially be higher than normal as well um, for investors who are seeking slightly higher risk reward sort of proposition. This is one of the ideal investment allocations from a portfolio point of view. Uh, we believe that a strategy uh, which is focused on such opportunities, maybe you know, 30 to 40 stocks, 50, uh, 30 to 40 stocks, um, focused only on special situations across market caps, across businesses, uh, something that has slightly higher active share compared to its benchmark index, can potentially be a good allocation in your portfolio from a long-term point of view. Mind you, given the 
you know underlying sort of exposure strategy uh, some bit of risk associated uh, this strategy is ideal for long term allocation in the portfolio um, and investors who have an investment horizon of more than 5 years should only ideally look at investing in this sort of a fund uh, we believe that you know given the market environment being so uncertain because of covid because of this current pandemic lockdown situation unlock gradually starting to happen many sectors having taken a massive massive hit like you know real estate airlines etc uh, we also believe that this can actually be a good fertile ground for new opportunities or opportunities that very few companies may actually be prepared for and to look at a fund which focuses on such special opportunities or uh, companies that can actually benefit that are thrive in such a special situations or a you know event uh, this is a portfolio that is most appropriate from a current uh, uncertain timing point of view uh, we believe that this could be a good fit for your long term portfolio allocation uh, the nfo opens on 5th of october and closes on the 19th of october 2020 thank you mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully